from one now who knows a thing or two about potholes and what can be done legally to deal with them. Uh, joining us, consumer champion Helen Judany, who runs The Complaining Cow. Um, <laughs> first of all, your reaction to Paul's story. Uh, I know you were listening and uh, the look on your face pretty much said it all, but viewers <laughs> couldn't see that. Tell me what you think. Well, I mean, it's really shocking, isn't it? Because the councils are responsible. Yes, they are underfunded for, for road mm -hmm. maintenance. That's, that's, you know, that's a given. But they are still legally responsible. And they have got to deal with matters when they've been, been reported. And clearly, Paul reported that, that pothole. So to find that it's still not filled in is, mm -hmm. is amazing, really. Because if there are any more accidents on that, that will help people with their evidence mm -hmm. for their claim. Yeah, Helen, Paul's is an extreme example. We know potholes can be dangerous, they can cause injury, you know, accidents that can lead to fatalities. But most of us, if we're lucky, will just get a flat tyre or damage to a car, and that's expensive. What do you mm -hmm. do when that happens? Because most people just call the, um, the RAC or the AA, replace it at their own cost and move on. But what can you actually do? Well, it's really important to get your evidence. So take your photos, take your videos, date it. Um, and also, if you can, try and put a measurement against the pothole, even if that means you, you're going back. So you're actually showing how deep it is and how big it is, because that's going to help your case. You can also look to see if that has been reported, because if a pothole has been reported and the council haven't done anything about maintaining that, then that will help with your evidence. You can um, also try freedom of information uh, request and that for the information about how many of their potholes have been reported. You can report it on um, the National Street Gazetteer uh, on Find My Street uh, and that will tell you which local authority is responsible for that pothole in that area. Helen, you, you've got to forgive me for not sharing your optimism because I myself, like many watching, will have been through this process and Paul outlined it perfectly when I interviewed him. You send an email, you get an automated response and many people I know have got a response saying, we are aware of it, that's it. You try to call the council or the highways agency, you can't get through to an actual person, you just get automated messages. Any tips on trying to break through that if you do want to pursue it? Because most people, quite frankly, just give up. Yeah, and that's, and that's what they hope. That's what they hope. You know, like any company, they hope that you will give up with your complaint. Don't persevere. But also keep everything in writing because you want that evidence. In case you have got to go to court, as we're seeing many cases having to do, Paul's having to do that, you're going to need that evidence in writing. And um, if you're not getting a reply, you can go to the CEO of the, of the council. So you can get their name and email address from ceoemail.com. And you can write to the CEO and say that you are going to take this matter to court if you do not receive a, you know, a satisfactory response you know, and saying that this is what I'm claiming for, this is what it's cost, this is the, the damage to my car, this and these are my medical mm -hmm. uh, records, if, you know, if there's anything that's, that's happened medically, and, and say that you will go to court. You can go to a money claim uh, online and actually fill everything out as if you were going to court just before you do the submit button where you have to pay, take a screenshot and send that because that will show that you mean business. Where you add up all your costs, the court fee, any out-of-pocket expenses uh, and show that just to show that you mean business and then they might realise that you're going to have to take priority. Uh, Helen, really appreciate your time. Helen Judney, who runs The Complaining Cow uh, with a bit of practical advice.